Oke, okay. bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Eh uh, marka la soo dhowaada wa bilaabanayna inshaallah ayada quraanka ku bilaabanayna Sheikh Adam Sheikh Abdullah ayaa ino akhri doona na wacdi doona in yar inshaallah eh ka baad programka ugu gudbi doona. We will be opening up with the blessings from uh, uh, the religious community Sheikh Adam Sheikh Abdullah will uh, uh, tell us a few good things about faith and uh, and spirituality Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa usalli wa sallim ala al mab'uth rahmatan lil alamin nabiyyina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsan ila yawmid din sallama tasliman kathiran kabiran amma ba'd qala Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala fi kitabihi al karim ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu taqullaha haqqa tuqatih ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون إلهي بام هذا السكر سبحانه وتعالى وحن الله وقم هذينا نعمين كوين إلهي سبحانه وتعالى ونقلي ننترين كرين وكوبي كرين إلهي عز وجل ما هذه سكدي من وحى ما هذا بلارن أن أعلنينا ضدك ولا لها أها أو نو أباب لي أو سوكا يري حفل دان سنة ويجاء أو سنة دول ب لقبته هل كان لقو قبته يجو أو كدول يه يري جلنته يو عي جلنته بلشده هي إن ضدك لقو دير جليه تعلنته هي هرم مركة هي إن لقف إذا استو فرصت يا كان سيادة فرن يا إلهي سبحانه وتعالى نعم تؤسيي وحفلة أنا من سنة هي إني تهي إن يضع كلا لجوكتيو وضدك اللوقفة إذا يمر والبع على إن هي ضدك سو أباب لي وسوكا يا ياري سند والبع نأتاجن جزاهم الله خير الجزاء إلهي هاي الكعبة المريو أنت كسو قريب قشينا يجنا هذه يا أبي أمهات سنين أنت كدي ولا ليال عربا كلمة ذي ذي إنان كسو كوب وكلية إنان صدر دار إنه وحلا صدر دار ما وحى قوينا هو إلهي عز وجل هو أم بيدي سودر دار ماي ومذيه أن نجا نجوه الرجين إلهي وودر دار ماي تاسو آه إلهي إن لقى عبد الله سبحانه وتعالى إلهي عز وجل وحولها اللي مرضت كمؤمنين تأبو سجارة إلهي وأمري يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله إلهي كعب صدق مر إلهي وحو الله ضلي بني آذن كأردن إلهي وأبوري يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم وارضوا ربك إن كعب صدق الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة إذ إن كأبوري هل نفع هل نفع كلية أو آدم أه وخلق منها زوجها آدم نحاس كيسي كأبوري كدبنا وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء إذن كا فردي يعني رج يا دمر آد يا أد أفر بضا بركة مرنا إلهي أم بيدي سول الله الله النبي يسيبو كوا جهي يا أيها النبي اتق الله والنبي ورب كبق ودار دارن كي إلهي كوا يقول نجوه الري ودار دار مي وإلهي وحو يري تبارك وتعالى ولقد وصينا الذين أوتوا الكتاب من قبلكم وإياكم أن اتقوا الله ما شاء الله الله نقوم أنفعه شيخ آدم لفتي سوي حكم دي هاي أرضي ذا سنة كان قلين جبسي شيخ آدم has just graduated this year with his masters in religious studies and we congratulate him too Now it's time to acknowledge the organizations, the individuals, the people who make this important event of celebrating academic excellence a possibility. And it's time to uh, recognize our sponsors. I would like to invite uh, our, con our council member, our attorney, Aileen Paley, to the podium to say a few words and then uh, she will call on the sponsors.
Thank you for inviting me here on behalf of Columbus City Council, my other colleagues and President Andrew Ginther. I am here to congratulate all of you for graduating this year. What a major accomplishment, whether that be um, from high school or for college. We're glad that you're here in the city of Columbus and the surrounding area. One of the things that I like to talk about a lot in, in Columbus is that we really don't have any mountains or waters for, for visitors to come and see unless you count like, like Delaware Lake or Alum Creek, which I don't really count. So um, I, when, I, when visitors come, they ask me what's the most important part of Columbus and I say it's the people, it's us. That's why we're named Columbus. So thank you for being part of us. We pride ourselves in our diversity, our, in our smartness, and we see both of them here in the room today. So I'm very happy on behalf of City Council to be here and congratulate you all on your accomplishments and hope that you stay here in the city of Columbus to um, make this city Columbus and be part of us. So unfortunately, I probably will have to leave shortly, but I wanted to make sure to graduate, to congratulate all the young people for their accomplishments and obviously the parents of all the young people because without you, they wouldn't be here. So thank you for coming tonight and for um, celebrating our young people and their accomplishments. Thank you. Uh, now I would like to call the sponsors uh, one by one. And I would like um, our state representative, Harshal Craig, um, the educators here uh, from the Ohio State and from uh, Columbus City Schools to join us, uh, Dr. Abdunur, uh, come at the sheriff, come stand up behind uh, the people who will be honored. And yep, the first acknowledgement goes to the Filikinja Legal Group for sponsoring the Somali graduation and scholarship program, uh, Russell Filikinja. I just, just want to say thank you and congratulations to all of the uh, students out there. The second award for the night goes to the Fifth Third Bank, Cleveland Avenue branch. Would you please come, Dee and Amran, and I see the team there. Columbus, Magaigo, how I'm Rinshad Ahmed, Bunky Fitter, Kuyalo, Cleveland Avenue, Benadir Mall, Cortis, Akshakaya, and Aw Hakfar Sanha in Akasoka, Galay, and Halfadan. It's not my first time, and I'm not here only because of Shakadeda. I'm here to support my community, inshallah. And I'm here to support my community, inshallah. And I'm here to support my community, inshallah. The next award goes to Focus Learning Academy of Northern Columbus for sponsoring the Somali graduation and scholarship program. Well, um, my name is Abdi Sofi with City of Columbus Community Relations. I'm also a board member with the best school in town, the Focus Learning Academy of Northern Columbus. We're here to support. Uh, the uh, graduates, uh, congratulations, thank you for the award. The next award goes to Abdi's own City of Columbus Community Relations Commission for sponsoring this program. Uh, may I have Napoleon up here? Yeah. There. <laughs> wow, I, I was not expecting this, so I, I appreciate this so much for the recognition, but I think um, who needs to be recognized is our young people here who have graduated. Um, it is such an incredible uh, uh, mission that you are on 
to graduate from high school and then where you go from there. You know, I was just talking some, from someone at our table that is looking to be a nurse. So I'm looking so forward to seeing what you do in your lives and, 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 and making it better for us here in Columbus. As Council Member Paley said, I, we hope that you stay here because we enjoy the diversity in our city. Our mayor, Mayor Michael B. Coleman, he is the one who embraces, who his mission and vision was to make sure we are a welcoming city, and then we embrace our diversity here, in which you are our, our, our diversity. This this what is me, what makes up Columbus. We hope that you grow up and, and bring that added flavor to our city from, from this point on. So thank you so much for, for, for this honor, but also thank you for being who you are and making Columbus a better city to live, work, and raise a family. The a very important place, a place where all of our kids love to go. The Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Thank you so much. Thank you so much and congratulations to all of our wonderful graduates tonight. Uh, the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium certainly wishes, wishes all of you a very bright future. Um, we hope that you are considering the field of science, zoology and biology because we need lots of great workers at the Columbus Zoo. So um, think of us when you're thinking about your future. Um, we invite you um, not only to visit the zoo but someday to come work for us because we would love that. So thank you and congratulations. Next is a, an agency that is the Franklin County Children's Services for sponsoring this program from its inception. I would like you to give a hand to Doris Calloway Moore who was the <laughs> Communications Director for the County Children's Services. On behalf of Franklin County Children's Services, I certainly just want to congratulate all of these young people for your achievements and also to recognize all those people who have connected with you in some way to help you on your road to which I believe will be great success, whether they be your parents, um, other adults in the community who care enough about you, the educators, and everyone who has touched your life in some way to help make you successful. And we look forward to hearing great things um, from our young people because you're what we're all about. And Franklin County Children's Service, we really believe in the well-being, safety, and health of all of our community's children. So we wish you the best. Thank you. Next is Twinkle Star Child Care Center. Congratulations to all students of 2015, and thank you so much. Nemo Middle School. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of Nemo Cross Cultural Middle School, I'm here to support the class of 2015. Congratulations. I go to the school of Nemo. I am very happy to be here. I am very happy to be here. I am very happy to be here. I am very happy to Thank you very much, Ma'alan Abdi. Ma'alan Abdi was one of the first Somali certified teachers in the state of Ohio. Uh, next is Denison University. Thank you. On behalf of Denison University, I want to also congratulate all the graduates um, and hope that some high school graduates out there might consider a liberal arts education. Just a uh, uh, 30 miles down the road, so, uh, but congratulations and, and thank you to the, the sponsors of this wonderful uh, graduation celebration that has been in its, that is now in its sixth year. Thanks. 
the Buckeye Health Plan, previously the Buckeye Community Health Plan. Anyone from the Buckeye Health Plan? I see Angie. Thank you. Um, in behalf of Baca Health Plan, I'm here to congratulate the growing diversity of students that we have here in Central Ohio. Uh, we're here to congratulate all the students and all the parents for the hard work that they've done. Thank you. And that should bring us to the conclusion of the wonderful sponsors of this program. Thank you very much. Let's give them a hand, all of them. Okay, uh, so let's set the stage for the program, uh, the um, objectives of this program, the history of it, uh, what we want to achieve from this program. I would like to invite uh, my friend, a former Minister of Education in Somalia, a current educator in Ohio who works with the Ohio Department of Education, Dr. Abdinur Mahmoud to provide us with an introduction of the program and its background information. Welcome, Dr. Abdunur. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala Rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ashadi sifi an lamu anna malayna. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good evening. It's, it's certainly a pleasure to be here with you. And I want to acknowledge Brother Jibreel Mohammed for doing such a, such a wonderful job and, and managing this program. He is truly one of the leaders of this Columbus community, a person who does more than his share of, of work. And I really appreciate his partnership and the work that he has done for this community for the past six years. I also would like to say a few things about the graduates, but before I do that, there is one graduate who I like so much with the name of Sheikh Adam Sheikh Abdullah, who, we wanted him to join the graduating students and receive some of the scholarships, but, but he, he, he refused to accept the scholarships, but mashallah, and we are proud of him uh, coming every year, highlighting to all of us the importance of knowing the purpose of, of us being here, where we came from, and where we are going, and to give us a words of wisdom based in faith and culture. And Sheikh Aden has graduated this year with a master's degree in religious studies in the United States of America. Give him a round of applause. Education never stops. Even though Sheikh Adel is a young man, you could always get, work hard and get more education and get more degrees. And we want the graduates who are graduating this year to a better society. Leads to full employment. Leads to strengthening the community. Leads to Columbus becoming a, an economically vital city. Leads to the United States being an economically strong country. So education is the backbone of this country, the backbone of this community, the backbone of this city. So we would like to encourage all the community members to encourage every, each and every one of us to continue on the path of education. Um, the purpose of this event started six years ago with the idea that here is a growing community in the middle of Columbus. With Ohio, with Somali Americans going to Westerville, Whitehall City Schools, Dublin, Columbus City Schools, Upper Arlington, all the way to Gahanna and uh, 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 Newark. But then each one of them graduating in different areas without the community at large knowing who's doing what. And some of us came together and said, why don't we have a graduation event where the Somalis 
come together with their teachers, with their educators, with the community leadership, so that we can all celebrate the success of this community together in one event. And this happens to be now the sixth year we are doing this project. And every year we see our youth graduating from schools and asking us for when will this event be held again? When will it be for next year? So we thank all the sponsors and everyone who has collaborated in making this project possible. Thank you very much. Another important concept here that we highlight is how the community value, values education. The Somali community, the Somali American community puts education at the forefront for itself and its children and the future of this community. This is an opportunity for us to showcase to the larger community that we are, this community is in partnership with schools in creating an educational awareness, in creating an environment where children learn and come to school ready to learn, and a community that wants to work hand in hand with classroom teachers, with educators, and this event is to highlight the importance that, the importance that this community gives on education. And we want our community to know, our community to know that in, in the United States, education is a partnership between parents and schools. In Somalia and other countries, we used to trust our teachers with our children all day and say to them, you are the extended parent in the school. Take care of our children. Socially, emotionally, academically, they're all yours. Do whatever you want to. But that's not what we do here in the United States. Here in the United States, it's a partnership. You do the education at home, teachers do the education in the school. And then you come to the schools as well to support the education of your children. So I want to extend a heartfelt gratitude to all those who came to this event. We know that it's a uh, six o'clock, it's not a, a, a good time for the community to come out. I'm sure that some of them are, are on their way coming here at seven o'clock or eight o'clock. But we, we, we wanted to start early so that this event can come to a close uh, um, not, not, for, not for long. I want to thank you again for coming. And I want to tell the graduates that education is important. And this is a journey that you are going. This is one stop in the journey. We are really proud of you for the hard work that you have done. We are really proud of you that you will continue on this journey for education. We want you to be the scholars of the future. We want you to be the educators of this com community in the future. We want you to become the city council members of this community in the future. And we want one of you to become the mayor of the city of Columbus in the near future. And the only way that you can get, you can get there is by working hard, by getting good education, and by contributing to society. As the old expression goes, if you are good and you do good, the universe will be good to you. Huh? In Arabic it said, Kun Jamila, Tara al Wujudu Jamila. Be good and you'll find the universe be good to you. That means if you work hard and go to school and work hard, it pays off in the end. I'd like all the teachers in this group to stand up today. Please, if you are a teacher, if you teach a high school or elementary school or a university or, or you touch the life of anyone, please stand up. And I want you all to say thank you to the teachers and educators who have come to support you. Without their support, without their dedication, we wouldn't all be here. So thank you, educators for coming to participate in this event. And I know many of you, but I don't want to mention names. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much, Dr. Abdul Noor. Uh, I am going to invite 
a, a very prominent member of the academic community in Columbus, the Vice Provost for Global Strategies and International Affairs at the Ohio State University, Dr. William Brustein. We have met Dr. Brustein before. Uh, he was at an event where the President of Somalia visited the Ohio State University. So he's somebody that has been involved in the community and that has known the importance of Somali within the Ohio State University community. Welcome, Dr. Brustein. Salam alaikum. Good evening. Good. On behalf of President Michael V. Drake of The Ohio State University, I should mention, if you've got a program, please don't look too carefully. Um, I'm described as coming from The Ohio University. I know that's a great university, but it's not The Ohio State University. So, uh, that was President Michael V. Drake is out of town, couldn't make it this evening. Uh, he asked me to come and to uh, join in the celebration of the academic accomplishments uh, of the students and to join you, the students, and your parents. So it's just a wonderful occasion. I'm so delighted to have this opportunity. Uh, the OSU and Somali community have very deep and broad ties. Um, and we're looking forward to an array of disciplines from business to engineering, communications, political science, and I hope one day my own disciplines of sociology, political science, and, uh, and history. The OSU Somali Association is active, it's growing on campus, it works closely, as does our university with the Ohio Somali Student Association. We're one of the only universities that teaches the Somali language on campus. And Jabril has just informed me. <laughs> and that's not all. Jabril has just informed me that very soon we'll be offering the first Somali minor and Somali language course. Our Center for African Studies has funded a course on Somali history and society, society and culture for K through 12. We look forward to developing more and more courses. So it's so important for the uh, students in primary and secondary school to learn a rich Somali culture. And we plan to invest more and more in, in that goal. And our university has been fortunate in the last two years to host the visits of two sitting Somali presidents. And uh, uh, again, I know Jibril mentioned uh, one of those, but again, there were two in the last six years. And, That's right. and this is a, a, a unique, unique feat. Now, let, let me, because there are so many students here and parents, and I'm an educator, as many of you are, let me just say a few words about um, the importance of higher education and because there are many out there today you can read the magazines you can turn on your cable news stations and people are questioning the importance of a college degree and it's becoming more expensive and it is an investment there's no doubt about it but it should come as no surprise to you that I think that's exactly what our students need to be earning and uh, particularly I want and I hope that the students here who have just graduated high school, whether it's next year or even five years, 10 years, will pursue a bachelor's degree to begin with. Let me just, you know, I can tell you how important it is, but let me tell you what we know from the US Census Bureau in terms of 2011 data. Uh, the average annual salary for someone graduating high school is $27,915 a year. For someone with a bachelor's degree, the average annual salary is $51,206, almost 
twice as much. What about average lifetime earnings? Someone with a, bat, with a high school degree, on average, in a lifetime, will earn $1.4 million. Sounds pretty good. But someone with a bachelor's degree will earn $2.4 million. And if you invest that well, you'll be a millionaire easily, because that's a differential of at least $1 million. But it's more than the money in terms of the value of higher education. When you look at the data from surveys, surveys of employers, whether they're in the private sector, the public sector, what they tell you consistently is that a college degree really helps form critical, creative problem solvers. And that is what employers are looking for, the critical, creative problem solvers. Next we have a, uh, the Deputy Superintendent of the City of Columbus School District, Dr. John Stanford, who is a graduate of the John Glenn School of Public Affairs. Now it has become the College of Public Affairs, where I have also attained my master's from. Welcome. Assalamu alaikum. And good evening, everyone. Thank you very much, Mr. Muhammad, and the organizing committee of, of Somali Can. Uh, thank you to the distinguished uh, guests that are at the uh, table to this evening. Uh, on behalf of Dr. Dan Good and the Columbus uh, Board of Education, I want to say thank you very much for allowing us again to participate in this very special ceremony. Uh, as the previous speakers have said, it is such a duty and responsibility to educate our children and to make sure that we are securing the future of our community and the future of our society by providing them a high quality education. And I know on behalf of Columbus City Schools, uh, for those of you who have allowed us to educate your children, we want to say thank you for giving us that opportunity and thank you for working with us. Uh, to the graduates this evening, wow, you have completed a special journey. And if you can do me a favor, I would like all of the graduates in the room to now give their parents a big hug and to say thank you to their parents for supporting them the way they have been supported. And if I'd like to leave one message to the graduates, uh, I'd like to piggyback on to the sheriff's uh, comment about dreaming. Don't give up hope is what I would like to add to the sheriff's um, advice to you to keep dreaming. I want to say to you, keep hope, hope alive in everything that you do. Don't ever give up. Always maintain your hope and belief that tomorrow can be a better place and it can be a better place as long as you continue to grow, develop, and work hard in your communities to make it a better place. So congratulations. Congratulations, keep hoping and keep dreaming and we will all be okay for it. Thank you very much. Now, we are approaching the time to acknowledge the graduates and hold the draw for the scholarships. But we, I would like us to all recognize and congratulate one very important graduate, the first Somali Deputy Sharif in Franklin County, Ohio. <laughs> Ahmed. We, we have the honor of uh, Ahmed and uh, his boss, Sheriff Zach Scott, coming and joining us. I would like them to come up and come to the podium and say a few words and for Ahmed to introduce himself and the Sheriff to tell us a little bit. Thank you guys. Um, thank you guys for the support we had for the last couple months and a half um, from everyone. 
Um, it's a great honor to be uh, representing our community. And, um, I'm glad to be the first Somali deputy. Um, looking forward to having at least more, a few more guys coming on. Uh, we need more um, Somali deputies or even police officers with Columbus or any of uh, the suburban uh, communities we have here. So thank you guys. Well, I know you are proud of him because we're very proud of him. Um, yes, absolutely. Well, I'll take a moment just to say congratulations to all the graduates uh, and to the families. Uh, com commend you all on the, uh, the right decisions, uh, commitment, and dedication it takes to get to that level. And I am a dad and uh, I am a grandpa, so I could stand up here and give all kinds of advice, but I'm going to get the program to continue. But I'm going to give you one little piece of advice. Keep on dreaming. All my graduates out here, everybody's graduate, keep dreaming, dream big. Don't ever stop dreaming. You know, I'm an old guy today and I, and I still dream today. I have things I want to do. I have things I want to accomplish. So I encourage all of you that graduated high school or college or getting ready to go or, or my deputy here, just continue dreaming all the time because we need you to keep dreaming. That's part of what America is. Uh, all the different cultures and all the diversity we talked about. And all that boils down to keep dreaming what you want to do, keep moving forward, always do that. So that's my one piece of advice, so I'll keep it brief. Thank you for having me tonight. Uh, thank you, Sheriff Zach Scott. Um, this is a non-political event, but the sheriff is running for mayor. <laughs> and now I would like I would like to invite a friend of this community, an elected official who has recently been promoted from a city council member to a state representative by the voters of Central Ohio, Herschel Craig. Let me first of all say good evening uh, to all of you and certainly to my dear friend would you give him a huge round of applause? And would you also honor Doctor this evening and give him a round round of applause? I think the sheriff has said it. Now, you all know my history. My mother came here as a maid, cleaning other people's houses. And uh, I want all of you to know. And certainly my graduates, I was looking at the faces of these young people, these children. I'm a father, grandfather, and a great-grandfather. And I want you to know the sheriff has already said it. We talked about, and certainly the Somali community in my office, I'm so deeply honored. Uh, in my, my first election, the Somali community uh, reached out and supported me and, and uh, holding me accountable for the work that I am doing. But the most important thing tonight is for our young people to know that God made you and don't you let anybody define you and what you're going to do in your life. Education really is the passport uh, to your future. And as I look at the faces of these young people, I want them to know, we've already said it, that whether it's city council or it's running for other elected offices or uh, serving in medicine or politics, I want you to continue to see your vision. I want you to continue to stretch uh, and to, uh, number one, honor your parents. My mother, in April, she would have been gone five years. There was nobody that I respected more, that loved more than my mother for the struggle and all that, that she has done in my life and, and for many others. And all of those that have struggled were really standing on their shoulders. So I want you to continue to honor uh, your elders, your parents, and those that have provided a way for you. And then I want you to continue to work hard 
and pursue your field of endeavor uh, to the best that you can and to honor those that have allowed you to be here. But God bless you on, the, on behalf of the Ohio General Assembly and all that I serve with. We're extraordinarily proud of you. God bless you and great wishes. What are we all waiting for through the night? The scholarships. That's what we're going to have next. Um, I would like I would like to announce that we have one student who has brought in his certificates um, from Mifflin High School. His name is Yusuf Mohammed. He has a GPA of 3.98. Yusuf Mohammed was an example, a role model for the rest of the students at Mifflin High School, and we are honored to award him the GPA-based scholarship for the night. <laughs> Next, we have, as I said, we have the two balls, one for the boys and one for the girls. Who do we begin with? Yes. All right. Ladies first. Ladies first. <laughs> so I will be announcing the names of all the girls who are present, and I will put the uh, cards that have their names in that box, and Dr. Abdinur will fold them, and Dr. Briston or somebody will pick them out, and John will unfold them and until it gets to Russell, it will not be announced. So Russell will say so and so is a, I mean, is a recipient. Once we're all done, so Abdunur, you wait until we're done with all of the cards and then you fold them and we go from there. Samira Mohammed from Central High School. And just to be clear, these are not winners. These are all the students. If your name is not mentioned, that means we do not have your name and you will need to register so that you can win. OK, Samira. Hafsa Omar. OK. Samira Mohammed Central High. Hafsa Omar Horizon. Samira Mohammed from Central again, so that stays there. Ayan Yusuf. Faduma Abdurrahman. Ramla Omar. Ladan Hassan. Sagal Jama. Saadia Mohammed, Asma Ali, Faisa Abdi, Faduma Ali, Ladan Barnes, Kauthar Gulet, Amal Ali, Fathi Awil, Hodan Mohammed, Hawo Mohammed, Habon Mohammed, Hafsa Mohammed, Fadumo Abdul Aziz. Any young ladies who have not been mentioned? How many of them? I think 20 something. Whatever that is. So seven of those will win. Is there anyone who has been left out? Okay. Now uh, let's go to the boys. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's choose uh, this one. Oh, uh, you yeah. want to choose? Yeah. We'll move and move announce the ladies yeah. first? Yeah. Okay. They want to announce the ladies all the way. Okay. Let's go for it. Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, Ross, you tell us who that is. First leg. Putin, Mohammed, Westerville Central. Putin, Mohammed is the first lady. Next. Um, <laughs> it seems. <to laughs> okay. Ian Yusuf, Overland High. Yeah, I can I can uh -huh. Abul Mohammed, Canal Winchester. <laughs> Qatar Goulet, Canal Winchester. Oh. <laughs> Abdi, Lincoln Heights. Oh, you have one more? You have six? Okay. Two more. Batia Awil, Columbus Global Academy. But here I will. Okay. Good. Okay. So let's go to the boys now. If your name is not here, please let us know. Adam Haile, Westerfield North. Shuaib Ali, Horizon Science. Ali Abdullahi, Horizon Science. Abdimalik Farah, Focus North. Sadiq Nur Hussein, Focus. Abdirisaq Ahmed, Northland. Yahya Afdal, Westerfield South. Muhammad Abdullahi, Horizon Science. Mubarak Osman, Senate Academy. Ahmed Ahmed, Olatanji High School. Abdul Latif Mohammed. Is Abdul Latif here? What school? Horizon Science. I'm adding Horizon. Yep. Abdul Saq Mohammed, Mifflin High School. Yusuf Bashir. Is Yusuf here? Uh, what the school? Westerville North. <laughs> Yusuf Bashir, Westerville North. <laughs> Abdul Aziz Mohammed, Northland High. <laughs> Isa Abdul Noor, Centennial High. <laughs> Ayub Ali, Licken Heights. Zakaria Warsame, Westerville Central. <laughs> Hussein Osman, Westerville Central. <laughs> Zakaria Adam, Mifflin High School. <laughs> Is anyone left out? Okay. We're ready to go. Yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs> Abdi Latif Mohammed Horizon. Abdi Aziz Mohammed Northland High School. Aiden Pele, Westerville North. Mubarak Osman, Zenith Academy. 
Jane Osmond, Westerville Central. Sadiq Noor Hussein, Focus Academy. Last one. Last one. Ahmed, Northland High School. So, uh, we will have Thank you very much. Congratulations for all your time. For those of you who are not won, you have not lost because Thank you are not qualified. You have not lost because you are not working very hard. You have been working the hardest. This is just a random thing. So, no disappointment. Nothing. Let's give every graduate a big round of applause. Now, there is one student who is not in that group who I have announced, Yusuf Mohammed from Mifflin. Uh, Yusuf is the student with the highest GPA. Thank you very much, Yusuf. Now, the Somali Pride Scholarships are given by mostly one prominent attorney in this community. We're giving 15 of them, he's given 10. The other five come from the rest of the community. Let's give and that's a big, big <laughs> contribution. That man is Russell Flickinger. I would like him to say a few words and congratulate the students, the winners of the scholarships, as well as all the graduates. Welcome, Russell. Thank you. I'd just like to take a few minutes to explain how this all came about with uh, Somali Pride and the scholarships that we give out. This is the fifth year that we've been able to do this, and in that time period, I think we've given out somewhere between 40 and 50 of these scholarships. A lot of you have heard this story before, but I'm gonna tell it again, so I apologize if I'm going to bore you. But most people that know me know I have one great passion other than my family, and that is motorcycling. I love to ride long distance. I ride as long as I can. I've done 1,000 to 1,500 miles in one day. Five years ago, I was on a ride from Key West, Florida to Homer, Alaska. It was a ride of endurance, and if you got stuck, you were out of luck. You had to sleep with your motorcycle outside. You had to do at least 1,000 miles a day, and you probably only got to sleep two hours a day. I was in the middle of nowhere out in South Dakota, and my motorcycle broke down. I pulled into this little garage, and I was sitting there, and there were thunderstorms all around, and this elderly gentleman came up to me and asked what was going on, and I explained that I had broken down and I was in the middle of nowhere. And he said, bring it over here. And he had a little Quonset hut that he opened up for me. He pulled my motorcycle in, he got his son out there, and for three hours they worked on my motorcycle until they got it going. I pulled out my wallet and I went to hand him money, and he looked at me and he said, pass it on. And I knew what he meant. What he meant was that he did this for me expecting nothing in return and he asked that sometime in my life I do the same thing for someone. A few months after that I was sitting in probate court and we were trying to probate the estate of a Somali truck driver who had been killed in Oklahoma. And we were trying to get the money to his family that were in a refugee camp in Kenya. At that time, one of the gentlemen who was helping us probate this began to tell me how many students there were at Ohio State of Somali descent. And he was able to tell me of all the students pretty much in the state of Ohio of Somali descent that were going to college. And I asked him, how do you know that? And he explained to me how important education is to all of the Somali people. 
At that time, I decided that I would form Somali Pride, and what we were going to do was give out scholarship money to kids who were graduating from high school and going to college somewhere, anywhere. And these, <laughs> these scholarships have only one attachment to them, and the attachment is this. We're going to give you $500 into our um, our best student will get $1,000 this year. All we are asking that sometime in your lifetime, sometime in your career, you remember today, you do something out of the goodness of your heart for someone else, you ask nothing in return, and that's all I want from you. As I said, we've been doing this for five years now. I hope that I can touch some of the 40 or 50 people that we've been able to do this for. Next year, I would ask some of those students who are probably graduating from college now to come back here and share with us something that you have done for someone else not expecting anything else in return. Thank you very much. Wahanahai, <laughs>